Ladies and gentlemen, Derek Stewart. So in, in mission control, right? The usually the first thing is he knows the zombie's coming, so he's defending the zombie and he's trying to posture up really hard. So his head's up and he's using his elbows to posture himself up, right? So it's kind of like we're gonna do an old school pump to get his elbow in the inside. But what's important is his hands are in front, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm clenching hard as he pushes up. It's the push-pull motion of the pump. And I'm gonna sh uh, strike his elbow right down the middle, okay? Now the normal route is we trap the shoulder, deep hook, look to pivot. But instead, we're gonna switch it a little bit. So we pump inside, I keep his posture broke. I'm gonna reach around his head to catch the deep hook, or the, the gift wrap on the left side. Now my, I wanna still keep his shoulder trapped, so I'm gonna pivot my legs and trap his shoulder with the gift wrap. Hold him here, okay? Now, if he's not defending, we can switch to the arm bar on the side. But more often or not, we don't wanna let go because he has, you know, you're, you're risky. You have him controlled, his clinch is broken and everything. So we don't wanna let go. So I keep hold of the gift wrap around his head now, pivot underneath him, okay? Flower sweep out at a, at a heavy left angle. And I'm gonna chop my leg underneath, here, as I float up. My weight stays heavy behind his tricep. I collect his elbow, left knee's up, right leg goes around, and we're inside, right? To finish, we'll stick spider whip, zombie the arm away, catch the wrist, drop your knee, throw it down. Go one more time, up, reverse angle, so that we teach him the camera. He's posturing, create the pump effect, pump his elbow right to the inside, keeping his shoulder trapped here. With his hand, now, now his back, up, back up just a second, um, uh, pumping that elbow in. What's the secret? Because, I mean, obviously, man, if the guy has his grip together, it's going to be tough to push that elbow in. Well, it's creating an effect. This is the effect I'm trying to create. So he's posturing up. I hold tight, I let it go. Just okay. a little bit. So it's important that you squeeze down so that he pushes back. Yeah, you want to squeeze him down so he tries to posture. And you fight against his posture. He's still, still squeezing. You give just a little bit of a let go. So I'm squeezing. He's trying to posture. A little bit of a let go. Jam him down. Now here's where it's really important. He's going to shrug his shoulder through. He wants to get his elbow back. If he goes hard enough, you can just zombie him back. But if you're committed to the shoulder being trapped, that's why you need the gift wrap. With the gift wrap, he can't shrug his shoulder because this is how he shrugs his shoulder. Inwards, like shrug his shoulder in. See his head? His head moves. When I hold the gift wrap, shrug his shoulder, he can't now. Okay? That's really important. He can't shrug his shoulder. So you can commit to the shoulder, trap, and work your movement. And that's all. Or you can stay with the gift wrap and sweep, which is what I prefer to do. I get nervous about going for the arm bar from the gun. So now my gift wrap comes completely around his head. I'm underneath his weight. I kick my hip out. So now my hips are really heavy and out here. Float the leg, let him rock. As soon as he comes over, bottom leg chops down. Stay heavy on his tricep. We stay heavy here so he can't get his arm back. We keep the gift wrap. This hand locks his elbow, all right? This way we can get to the S mount. Left knee comes up, still staying low on his tricep. Now watch the elbow comes behind his head. So he get his head up. So now he's tied up here, okay? You can punch for the deep hook. I prefer to hold the gift wrap, zombie right through, walk the arm away. Switch my hand to his wrist, leg up, thigh down, arm. Ladies and gentlemen, there we go.